It's Cassie Carlisle is at Jastro Park, where the family has yet to return after the incident last Father's Day. And they claim the city was aware of the problem years ago. Cassie? Yeah, Tim, Jackie, when they were here at the park, the mother was barbecuing chicken. The father was nearby playing with one of the kids and little Willow was playing around a light pole like this one just out of reach of her parents. It was Father's Day and we went to go barbecue and to go play in the spray park. June 15th will be a day this mother will always remember. We just heard this loud snap and neither one of us could reach her fast enough. It just broke off the main branch and just landed right on her head and on her back and knocked her to the floor. Four-year-old Willow was taken by ambulance to get checked out, but her cuts and bruises weren't all that was wrong. Notice she wasn't eating good. She wasn't, she, all she wanted to do was sleep. And so I took her back to the ER, and that's when they diagnosed her with a concussion. While the inch-long knot in her skull healed, you can still see the trauma from that day. Anywhere where there's a giant tree, she will not sit underneath it. She won't play under it. She won't run around it. She'll avoid them. Don't eat under them. Why not? Because I'm scared of it. She filed a claim with the city for $2,500 and was denied. Now she's suing the city. It could have been completely avoided. 23 ABC did a story on dying trees at Jastro. Seven sycamores, the same kind of tree that fell in June, were removed in November because they were deemed a hazard. You know, we hate to take them out, but at this point, I think it's the right thing to do. Leaving this mom furious. Because they've known. They've known for over 10 years that those trees were dying. They even went as far as to plant new trees so they could grow and then they could remove the dead ones. I reached out to the city of Bakersfield's um, Department of Risk Management, but the manager was out of the office today. Tim?